Hey guys, myself Anil Kumar Patel, an SAP MM consultant. In this video, I will walk you through how to write a functional specification, or in a simple words, how to give a logic and requirement to the technical team or a bappers when we develop a new object in SAP. Let's get started. We will take three examples today: SAP Custom Report, SAP Custom Form, SAP Custom Announcement. For all these three cases, we will understand how to write a proper functional specification. Let's start with a report example. Your FA should include these key sections. Your requirement, what all the input fields, what all the output fields, logic behind each fields, additional conditions. So let's take an example. So requirement example. Let's say you own a Xerox shop. You have multiple branches across different regions. Each branch needs paper, cartridges and other accessories for printing, all procured locally within the state. Now you want a procure to pay report based on the vendor region. For example, if I am a buyer from Karnataka, I should see all the suppliers and open POs within that region. So our requirement is a custom SAP report for buyers to view open PO details by vendor region. So your input field should include some of the important and needful fields and those can be optional or mandatory because if you make all fields optional and if you execute the report all the data will be fetched and that could cause a performance issue so that's why it is advisable to have some of the key fields as mandatory fields to avoid performance and limited data and you can give these input fields in excel format or you can generate via image via google gemini or some of the ai platforms you can generate them and you can give it to the technical so that it is easy for them to understand what all the fields it is required output screen so in this screen you can include what all the output section of your report should contain and also whatever the input screen you have given first thing is you can display all those input fields plus you can display some additional fields like supplier region supplier number po number po document date plant material line item purchase requisition goods receipt invoice receipt so these are the things you can display and for input fields so supplier region and po document date you can make it as a mandatory fields supplier number po number plant material these fields you can make it optional fields so logic section so here you will mention the table and the field name the data is coming from it's simple just write the table plus field plus logic for example so to fetch the supplier region so you can go to sc16n add the lfa1 table and the field for supplier region is R E G I O. Supplier number, the table is E K K O and the field is Lifner. PO number, the table is E K K O, the field is E B L M. PO document date, the table is E K K O, the field is B date. Plant, so plant it will contain an item table, so that is E K P O table and the field is Works. Material, E K P O table and the field is Matner. Line item, E K P O, E B L P. Purchase requisition, E K P O, B A N F N. Goods receipt and invoice receipt, you will get in a purchase document history table that is EKBE table and you can also include the additional conditions include the authorization metric so that you can restrict the access by user role make a mandatory fields validation to restrict the data and increase the performance display the output in ALV format so now let's move to the form section so let's take a purchase order form or you can also check a sales order form goods receipt form invoice form or any kind of a form so your request should include requirement layout as is and to be processes header item footer and logics so request Requirement example. So you need to design a PO form. So that should include company logo, supplier details, list of ordered materials, address, terms and conditions. So for this one, I better suggest you first build the layout in MS Word so that it's easy for Abapal to build the form in their Adobe form. So the purchase order form should contain the company name, the logo, the company address, PO detail, PO number, PO date, requester name or a buyer name, supplier details, vendor ID, vendor name, address, email ID, phone number. So deliver address or ship to address line item details line item material number material description unit the price net price subtotal tax grand total payment term inco term invoice verification acceptance so these details you can include so you must give the logic for each fields using sc16n so can you like go to sc16n add ekpo table add the po number fetch the inco term so like this you need to give the logic for each fields like for example for po number so you can give the table number number as EKKO and the field is EBLN, PO date, EKPO, B date, requester name, EKKO, ER name, vendor ID, vendor will be contained in the header so that the EKKO table and the field name is Lifner, vendor name, LFA1, name 1, vendor address, ADRC table and the field is ADR number, delivery address, EKKO table, ADRNR is the field, item number, EKPO table, EBLP is the field, so for part number or the material, EKPO and MATNR is the field, quantity, EKPO 
ekpo men's unit ekpo men's unit price ekpo netpr payment terms ekko z term inco terms ekko inco 1 so for all each and every field you must give the table name field name how to get the information for that field or there may be a chances you may need to give the multiple table name also like to getting the address number so they must go to go to ekko table so then get the vendor number so that is nothing but lifner so then again they should go to lf a1 table so again they should add the vendor number get the address so again they have to go to address table so that is nothing but adrc table so they should add the address number so there are multiple table names also you should give sometimes so now let's take a simple enhancement example if a pure document type is nb and has a value greater than 10 million then a pop up should appear saying po price is greater than 10 million check the required document from the supplier so this is my requirement so in this case my document type is nb for that the logic is the table is ekko and the field is bscrt po net value the table is ekko and the field is netpr condition so in this case how you should write the logic so the condition is so if the document type is nb so that is nothing but if table ekko and field bscrt is equal to nb and if table ekko and netpr so that is nothing but your price netpr is equal to 10 million then trigger the pop up so this is your logic so additional restriction apply specific to company codes or a plans if required and for all this you must do a proper testing before you move to the production so that's how you write a functional specification whether it's a form report announcement email notification custom workflow or any or some correction program so for anything you must give the input field output fields the logic the layout all the required fields and the logic and the condition for each fields it's simple make sure you collect the all the requirement and make a note of that and freeze the requirement and take the confirmation through email and write a functional specification and then send a email to the technical team saying like please develop this ricef and have a call with the abapper understand with him so this is my requirement these all my input fields these are my output fields and the report should look like this and these are my additional validations and if this data is added the report should not work so like that you should give the positive and the negative cases to the abappers and you can also test it so then you should prepare the test scripts and you should take the confirmation and after that you need to review internally and you need to take the approval and later you need to take the uat from the customer also that is nothing but user acceptance test thing later the last thing is you can move that to the production so this is the cycle for any new rice if you find this video useful please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel for more sap and s4 hana related video drop a comment what would you like to see in my next video thanks for watching see you again in the next video